School bus drivers are in charge of a vehicle that weighs 30 tons, is over 60 feet long, and contains multiple mechanical components. So it makes sense that school bus drivers should be aware of the component parts that make up their bus. Therefore, it's our goal in this video to give bus drivers a working knowledge of the most important component parts of the school bus. We will approach this by giving non-technical explanations of the basic functions of each of these components. Our host during this presentation is the head of bus maintenance for the Sacramento Unified School District. He will be joined by several bus drivers that are attending his class on component parts of the school bus. During this section, we will familiarize you with many of the most important components in the engine compartment. Here is a useful list of these components. Let's listen in as Mark gives us a more detailed explanation of each of these components. Good morning. My name is Mark Jackson. I work for the Sacramento City Unified School District. I'm a school bus mechanic here. Um, this class is designed so that you as potential bus drivers are to get more familiar with the equipment that you're going to be working with. And so in saying that, we're going to familiarize you with different portions of the vehicle starting with the engine compartment. Every day when you come out to your bus you have to do a what's called a pre-trip inspection and that consists of checking several things on the bus. When we do this we come out we take caution we want to do this before the vehicle is started because after the vehicle is started temperatures raise, coolant gets hot you can't touch and check and feel for everything. Let's start the pre-trip inspection of the engine compartment by checking the oil. Mark will demonstrate the proper technique for checking the oil level on the dipstick. When you first pull the dipstick out, you want to wipe it clean and reinsert it. Making sure that it's inserted all the way. When checking the level of the oil on the dipstick, sometimes it's very difficult to see the level. Don't let this fool you. Make sure you clearly see where the level is on the dipstick. Next, Mark will talk about the power steering unit. On your personal car, you probably see power steering fluid in a small container or reservoir located under your hood. Well, under the deck lid of this vehicle, the power steering fluid check is very large because it has to travel all the way from the front to the back of the vehicle. 